Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you're new here, my name is Holly. I make food and fitness content and if you're not new here, welcome back to the YouTube channel. So guys, for this week's video, we were supposed to be doing a week's worth of workouts together. I was gonna be showing you my whole new workout regime that I've got for the new year, including high rocks workouts, my running workouts, my speed training sessions, but sometimes in our fitness journeys, things don't go as planned and you might be able to tell from the title of the video, but I have been struck with a bit of an injury this week, which is very frustrating. However, these things happen. Like it is so common to have pains and aches, especially at the start of a new block of training. For me, I've never speed trained before. So I think trying to jump back into quite an intense workout block off the back of Christmas, my body just hasn't really caught up with where my brain wants to be. So it's just caused a few aches and pains. I've got a little bit of runner's knee, but that kind of develops as we go through the workout. So I'm not gonna tell you too much because I talk to you all through it in the video. Um, I was originally gonna completely scrap the vlog and just do something completely different this week because it's not a whole week's worth of workouts, but actually this is the reality for a lot of us in our running journeys. We are gonna get aches, we are gonna get pains, and if I do get them, I guess like one positive that can come out of it is that I can show you guys the methods and the things that I do to relieve those and to help those. So I've just stuck with the original vlog. We have got three workouts in this week's vlog as opposed to the six that I would normally be doing if I was like completely training. But as we speak now, it's Thursday. This started obviously on Monday and I'm currently gonna take the rest of the week off to rest, but I'll go into that in the rest of the video. So without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy this week's video. Let's crack into the first workout of the week. Good morning, guys. Welcome to the first workout of the week. So this morning's workout is gonna be a little bit different usually what i would be doing on today which is a strength training day first workout of the week would be a full body strength training session however it's nothing bad i've just had a little bit of a flare up in my knee i think it's one of those things like when you come back after christmas and you've not been running a lot and last week I had four runs in the week i think my knee was just a little bit in shock and i've also introduced speed training which is something i'm not used to so it's kind of normal to have little kind of like aches and pains but just to be cautious before heading into the second week i'm gonna not do full body today we're gonna be focusing on upper body strength there will be some movements that will obviously have to include my legs but what i'm basically saying is i'm not gonna be doing anything like lunges squats or deadlifts which i would normally be doing today just to try and give it as much rest as possible so like i said we're gonna be doing an upper body focused workout when i'm strength training at the moment the kind of focus for it is around high rock so all of the movements that i'm doing in today's workout are basically designed to help me in high rock so it's kind of like full upper body as opposed to like back and buys or shoulders and triceps or anything like that there's no specific area that i'm focusing on it's just kind of looking at the movements that i have in high rocks and kind of implementing weight training styles that will complement those so i can be stronger and i can complete high rocks even quicker so <laughs> that is kind of the aim of the game i'm gonna try and do this mic'd up but the last time we did it in this gym they just play music very loud and my mic just doesn't like it but i do think having mic'd up workouts is just way more fun also i just like chatting to you guys while i'm doing it i don't really want to be working out by myself today so hopefully i patched my mic friends in my bag right good morning guys let's crack in so we're going to start with a warm-up first i'm going to talk loudly so hopefully it shouts over the music in the gym i don't have a band that's not a good start let's go and find one if anyone has any questions about my pull-up journey keep them to yourself we're not talking about that right now Oh, guys, my shoulders are feeling spicy. I did a high rock session yesterday. First proper high rock session. Actually really loved it. Like, I genuinely feel like I've made a good choice this year. I am excited to be going on this little journey, but also slightly terrified. But I feel like yesterday gave me a lot more confidence. Like, I feel like I have to have a lot more confidence in... Are you hearing this music right now? I have to have a lot more confidence in my ability because I actually have a really good level of physical fitness from running. So, actually cardiovascular i feel like i've got it it's strength i feel like it's pretty common knowledge i'm not the strongest girlie in the world but you don't need to be the strongest in high rocks it's more like endurance and your muscles kind of being used to the endurance and strength from it so we've got six months to work on it will be great i'm very excited this music is actually sending me under right now so we're going to be starting today with some shoulder press the reason we're going to be doing shoulder press is because if anybody's new to high rocks, one of the movements and exercises is a wall ball throw. So usually it's better to do thrusters, so training doing like thrusters with the weight. However, like I said, I'm just trying to keep 
as much weight off my knee today so we're just going to be doing shoulder press but we're going to be doing two variations so we're going to be doing your standard shoulder press and then we're going to be doing an Arnold shoulder press just to you know burn out our shoulders even more <sighs> Oh my god, I cannot tell you how difficult I just found that. <laughs> I'm just going to wrap out some press-ups. Just going to, you know... <sighs> Jesus! Right, let's stop fannying around, crack into the workout. Like, who is in charge of this playlist? Guys, these Honor Active tops, I think, are my absolute favourite. I've been wearing them all the time, and I'm wearing them to, like, run in, and I feel like they're really supportive. Like, I think I might be over the high neck sports bra era. I feel like... Shut up, Polly. What am I talking about? Just do, lift your weight. <laughs> Honestly, the procrastination is real right now. First time shoulder pressing back. <sighs> oh, nice. Easy. Let's go for 12. Two, six. Halfway. I'm gonna start talking about the music in here in a second, but what is this? We're gonna be doing three sets of these, by the way. They feel like little like marshmallows, like they just feel a bit like. Okay, last set here. Oh. <laughs> All right. Now, for exercise two, we're going to be doing an Arnold press. So, the way I used to do this was wrong. I used to almost go like, do, do. It's one continuous movement. Two. I'm going to drop the weight down for these because these are a lot tougher. So, I'm using sixes now, and I was using tens before. Nine. One more. Oh my god, these absolutely set your arms on fire. Oh my god. Oh. Right guys, we're gonna go and set two of those. These didn't feel too bad with the sixes, but I feel like the more you do them, the more they burn. One. Right, now we're gonna be going on to lap pull down. So let me check and see what else we'll do. I feel like 90% of what you're doing in high rocks is actually posterior chains. So it's really important to train your back muscles. Right, I've not done these in a while, so that doesn't feel too bad. That's too light. I'm not being a little bitch today. There we go. Right, I'm going to be going for three sets of ten. I forgot to mention that on those. Nice, slow, and controlled. I feel like if it's like your first week in the gym or like first week back in the gym, you need to remember movements are slow and controlled. If you're just repping them out, you're not going to be getting the most out of your muscles. The way I always envision it is the best way to build muscle is to tear the muscle essentially. So when you're doing the movement, obviously the pull down is fine. When you're going up, I literally envision it like I'm making micro tears in my muscle and trying to like hold the weight and let it go as slowly as possible. I feel like that way of envisioning it just really helps me do it slowly rather than just like wrap it up because you're not going to be getting the most out of it that way. Let's go right. So like I said, pull down and then release slowly. One. Two. Eight. You might notice that when you start to do that and you do it slower, you have to cut your weight back because you're putting your muscles under more tension for a longer amount of time. It's just going to feel a little bit harder. So if you are doing it and you're like, oh my God, I need to drop the weight down. Like it's too much or I'm getting burnt out too quickly. Don't worry, like it's completely normal. I'm on 37.5 kg and I would normally last year be doing about 43, but right now like that feels tough and I would rather get the length and the time out of the movement than do a heavier weight and be doing it. And then do a weight and do a heavier weight and be doing it like really quickly and not doing it properly. Right guys, we're gonna be going to our second back movement here. So we're gonna be doing seated cable rows. 
if you can't tell from the visual aids that I've got in front of you. Um, we're going to be doing 12 reps for three sets here. Nice and slow on the extension. Girls, we are moving on to the more like cardio based part of the workout. So, we're going to be doing ski erg and the row machine. We're going to be doing a lot of circuit. We're going to be doing 500 meters on the ski erg and then straight into 500 meters on the rower. I'm going to repeat that three times. This will be a nice little burnout for my shoulders and my arms that are already very sore. So, that'll be fun. <laughs> Any water I have is this Lucas Lady water from the weekend. <sighs> the thing is, I'm not dead, it's just like that's just jumped your heart rate straight up. But my heart rate is 140 working it, it's 122 now, which is fine. I went too hard as soon as I did the ski erg, I was like, just went for it. And like, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon, right? Nice, easy, slow and steady wins a race technique. Let's go, big row, it's all in the arms, nice. Oh my god, my calves. Fuck. Right. Done. Oh my god. Wow. Wow, wow, wee wow. Oh, please ignore all the coffee I spilt down my jumper as I was driving to the gym this morning. Oh my goodness. Wow. I'm still a bit like <laughs> in shock about what happened. I think maybe in hindsight, I should have done the cardio at the beginning. I think in my head, I was just like, if I really like fatigue my muscles and then have to do that, to me, that mimics more of like what I'm going to be doing during high rocks because I'm going to be so tired physically having done loads of exercises before I jump onto other exercises. But I was just so tired. <laughs> and my calves from yesterday, yesterday's high rocks session, I know I keep talking about it, but it was like the first proper one that I've done. So I feel like my body was feeling a little bit broken today, but we showed up regardless, got a really good workout done. We've rested our knee. I'm going to go home. I'm going to ice my knee. I've got a sports massage later and hopefully tomorrow morning we'll be getting an easy paced 10 kilometer run done. We'll definitely go and we'll see how it feels. Good vibes, good vibes, good vibes. Right, see you in the morning. Good morning guys. Welcome to workout two of the week. So today is run day. Oh my goodness, my back and my arms. Also the audio from yesterday's workout actually worked, which is great. I've just been editing it. So today's POA, like I mentioned yesterday, I have been having a teeny tiny bit of knee pain. So we're not going to go out full throttle. This morning was supposed to be a speed session, but we're not going to do that because it's just not advised right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out and we're going to do like an easy paced seven to eight kilometer run. That's what we're going to aim for. I'm just going to see how my knee feels. I spoke about this on Instagram, but when I say easy paced, that does not mean this is like an easy pace. Like it's hard to explain because I think when I used to see people say easy pace, I'd be like, you find that easy. And like, that's my quick pace. Easy pace is just a term used to refer to basically a heart rate zone. So it's whatever pace keeps your heart rate in zone two or in a lower heart rate zone. So for me, I'm gonna be aiming to keep my heart rate between 155 and 160, kind of around that. And that is technically my easy pace. It doesn't mean that I'm out there finding it extremely easy. To be fair, I actually find running at an easier or like reduced to normal pace harder because it's harder to control your pace and you have to pay a lot more attention to what you're doing. I'm gonna do a really proper, proper warm up. I think that was like the universe has signed to me last week that actually this year I'm not gonna get away with being as lazy with my stretching. So we're gonna do a good warm up and then when I come back, I'm gonna roll it out and do some banded stretches as well just to make sure that it is as stretch as possible because I think what it is is maybe a little bit of runner's knee which basically means that my IT band is the thing flaring up. So it's not actually my knee, it's the band that connects my hip and my knee so as long as we can keep it nice and warm i'm really excited it does sound so windy outside right now so i'm gonna put a little windbreaker on but i want to show you because this is actually a new windbreaker from mp clothing and they sent it to me on the weekend i'm really excited to wear it i feel like i usually don't wear windbreakers like this because i've never found one that i really like but this one 
is really cute. I really, really like this. And it feels like it's gonna be perfect for today's weather for it. So yeah, long, big warm up pending. We are nearly two kilometers in. Feeling good, it is so cold today, guys. Like, it's the wind, it's just so icy and crowded, like hidden in between some buildings. So, not feeling it too much right now. But, windbreakers actually saved my life. I just feel like I can always tell because my mouth starts to get cold, but my knee so far feeling great. We're halfway to halfway, so fingers crossed it just stays like this. I'm just trying to go really slow and light and not push myself because the last thing I want to do is get injured in the first month. Of the training block. I think I found the best playlist for a run like this. So it's called like <laughs> 2000s movie rom coms, or like My Life is a 2000 movie rom com. I'll link it because it's really getting me through right now. I feel like when you're doing runs like this, there's two things that really help me. Number one, listening to slow music. <laughs> if you're listening to like something upbeat, like disclosure, someone like that, you're gonna wanna like go for it because number one, it's motivating, number two, it's very fast paced. And number two, I always envision somebody is running behind me with a big resistance band, so they're like pedaling me back. So I'm constantly running against a form of resistance. And it does really help, but we're nearly 4K and my knee is fine. It doesn't hurt, but I can start to feel it. Like I'm aware that I have a kneecap. I don't know if that makes sense, but <laughs> that's the only way to describe it. All right, so I'm running into the wind on the way back, which is 10 times cold my poor little ears. My mouth and my nose are absolutely frostbitten, but we're on our way back currently five and a half i'm not gonna lie i can definitely feel my knee now it's just so annoying it's not painful it just i don't know i guess it feels like a bit tight but we're just going super nice and easy i'm gonna get back i'm gonna stretch out loads hello right we're back so no time to waste time to get stretching it's so weird like if you've had runner's knee which i'm assuming it is that's gonna be kind of diagnosing myself it's not like painful like it's i'm not in pain i can just feel my knee and when i'm running it almost kind of feels like it's like just like irritable that's the best way to describe it but it felt a lot better today than it did on the weekend so i'm thinking the rest has done it good it doesn't feel too irritated so hopefully if i can just like stretch it out roll it out ice it tonight we'll be feeling okay but i'm just gonna take it as it goes i think the thing is like because i'm trying to implement speed training which is completely different i think it's just a bit of a shock i'm just gonna do some pretty basic leg stretches first i'm thinking this is all kind of coming from my like hips feeling super tight because they do now we're gonna get on the floor oh i've got my long resistance band here i'm just gonna wrap it around i'm really not very flexible this is genuinely as far as i can go but hopefully if i keep up with my stretching routine which i need to god my leg is like shaking doing this now this one always gets me right. <sighs> this really stretches. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh. Oh, my. oh my god, yeah, I can feel that right in exactly where I need to feel it. Guys, this next part, it's not gonna be pretty. It's not gonna be comfortable, but it needs to be done. <laughs> This actually looks like a torture device. If you don't have a foam roller, you should definitely get one. If you do have a foam roller and it doesn't have the wobbly bits on, you should probably get one like this. These are horrible, but they are absolutely incredible at like getting in and just like working on your muscles. And I do not do this enough. Oh my God, this hurts so much. It's one of those pains that like, it's a good pain. Like it just needs to be done. You just want to roll yourself god sakes not upper waist strength over but really like push your weight into the roller so 
digs in. Okay, that's enough stretching and foam rolling for one day. God, I'm, I'm beat. That foam rolling was harder than the run itself. So we just did that eight kilometers in 51 minutes S2, average pace of six minutes 52, average heart rate of 158, which is perfect. That was basically exactly what I wanted. And now I'm gonna go shower. We'll have a little ice tonight and then we'll just, it's one of these things I think when you're slightly injured or like teetering on the edge of an injury, I just need to take it as it comes. So I'm just gonna ice it tonight, see how it feels in the morning before bed and then we'll pick up. I, ideally I would like to do a run in the morning. Ideally I would like to do my speed session in the morning, but I just need to have a think whether like that is actually the best thing or maybe we just try another easy pace run and just like ease ourselves into it i'll have a little bit of a think and i'll get back to you guys in the morning it's guys and girlies please excuse the mess around me i'm also like half dressed so i've got my <laughs> running top on guys i don't know what it is we really don't want to go for this run like I, it's not even that like i don't want to go for this run like i like running i love running we all know i love running just right now the thought of going outside and running just really like isn't doing it for me and I feel like my brain is coming up with every single excuse to not go on this run like I was literally like do you know what we'll have a rest day like I'm I'm dressed I'm ready for this run and I was like you know what I'm gonna have a rest day like I don't really need to like do it today I could do two sessions tomorrow do I have time to be doing that no but that is your brain when you're unmotivated tries to like come up with any excuse and it's all about like short-term satisfaction. Like when you don't feel motivated, your brain is trying to do anything to relieve you of the stress of having to do what you need to do. So my brain is like, we'll just do it tomorrow because that thought will give me instant relief and I'll feel better. But you know, when I won't feel better tomorrow, when I have to do a full body session and I have to do a 10K run, like that is just not good. And also I'm trying to work around like a little bit of a knee injury at the moment. So doing two sessions like that in a day is just not, it's not gonna be good. But. <laughs> we're gonna go on the run this is me i prop my camera up because we're gonna go on the run i think what's happened what's happening up here is i went out and i've done a running shoot today so i've been outside for like an hour and a half and it is freezing and i was kind of doing some running and then stopping and putting my jacket on and then running a bit and then put my jacket on and i think that's just made me think oh my god it's so cold like i don't want to be outside but we all have days like this this is completely normal but the matter of the fact is i need to go out and i need to do this run because it's part of my training plan and if i don't do it I'm just letting myself down and I'm making tomorrow a million times harder for myself. And the likelihood is, am I gonna do two training sessions tomorrow? No, probably not. And then I'm gonna miss a training session and then I'll be annoyed at myself. And missing a session for valid reason is fine, but missing a session because I just didn't wanna go out in the cold isn't really good enough and i'm having to like tough love myself right now so we're gonna go out we're gonna get the 10k done it's also like a little bit later in the day so it's currently 3 44 and i never run this late i think that's why i'm lacking in motivation i also just like because i decided i wasn't gonna run i've just had like tuna and rice so we're just gonna have to run with that in our tummies and i've never run on tuna before and i don't think it's gonna be very nice i think because yesterday's 8k felt like okay we're gonna push it a little bit further today we're gonna do a 10k but i'm not gonna go at a crazy pace i think pushing to do a speed session is just gonna be too much so i'm gonna go out see how 10k feels take it same as yesterday nice and easy maybe a little bit quicker because i don't want to be <laughs> outside for too long plan of the day is a 10 kilometer run we are gonna do it we're gonna do it i'm gonna do it i'm gonna go outside and i'm gonna run 10 kilometers i'm gonna do a warm-up first and then i'll see you guys on the run because you guys saw the warm-up routine yesterday all right guys we're already one kilometer down i feel so much better now i'm on the run like i would have been so annoyed at myself if i hadn't done this today and i've just waited till tomorrow because there was truly no reason for me not to be running also the list of excuses i was coming up with were like so pathetic like i was literally like oh it's cold just put some more layers on that's exactly what i've done and i'm absolutely fine um so it's just mind over matters sometimes but yeah feels so much better now we're out we've already hit 2k just trying to not run off too fast i did my first quarter way too quickly i think because it's uphill sometimes um on this route that i'm doing i just power it which is so silly but yeah I'll check in with you guys halfway okay so we're having a little bit of a walk break I'm not gonna lie my knee just like right now it's fine i'm walking it feels fine as soon as i start running it just it's almost like it's pinching i don't really know how to describe it and oh, i'm just feeling really frustrated like when 
you have pains and aches, all you want to do is be able to run. Like, all I want to do is just run. <laughs> and it's so annoying because I have so many, like, goals and plans at the moment. And, like, injuries just really don't fit in with that. I'm just, like, battling in my head. Like, what, what would I tell you guys to do? I'd be like, rest, take a break, stop. I just feel like I'm trying to do like a lot of different things at the moment. I guess with like high rocks, there's a lot of like different movements going on with my legs and stuff. And then with the speed training, I just think. But then I'm also battling that part of my brain. It's like, you're fine, just keep going. But like, that's not the reality. Just feeling a little bit frustrated. I'm just going to walk for a bit. Um, I did just stretch out for a little second and then I'm trying to jog it in because this isn't really where I want to be walking along when it's dark. I think I'm going to have to call it a day. just like run another kilometer and then just it's just like it's just uncomfortable like I'm not like ah I'm in pain I'm just really uncomfortable and it just doesn't feel like right it just feels like there's like something pinching my knee and I'm just like what I'm worried about now is because just to add you know something else on the mix as I'm running I'm starting to feel my left hip feel sore and I'm thinking my left leg is really overcompensating because as much as it feels like I'm trying to run normally I'm probably not running normally so I'm putting too much weight and like dependency on the left side of my body so it's just <laughs> everything feels out of whack and not normal um but we'll go home we'll stretch I think I think the next thing is just probably going to see a physio. The fact that I didn't even want to go on that run and it just ended like that, it's just so frustrating because like while I'm running, I'm like, I'm having the best time. Like I love doing this, like running is like my favorite activity, but I can't just pretend that like my knee isn't hurting or my hip isn't hurting because now my hip is also hurting, like I mentioned. And you like, I literally was like, I can just outrun the pain. Like that's not how these things work. And that's such a silly mentality to have because all I'm gonna do and all I've ever seen, I don't know why I saw these in, all I've ever seen is girls saying that they tried to push through injuries and then have ended up having to take like a month or two months off and it's annoying me because I'm in this place where I'm like, right, I've got really big like goals for running at the moment and I feel like all I wanna do is like go out and get them. And when your body isn't letting you do that, it feels so frustrating and you feel like, oh God, I took for granted all the time that I never had pain and I could just go and run. And it's like, did I, have I ever run without pain? Like, do I know what that feels like anymore? It's just frustrating. And if anyone else is experiencing the same thing, and actually I know a lot of us are because I feel like anytime I mention that I'm suffering with a bit of pain, there's always other people that are like, injuries are very prone with running. Like running is a lot of impact on your knees and your hips and your shins and a lot of us end up getting injured and if I can at least do anything it's lead by example and actually show you what we should be doing when we're injured not what we should not be doing which is going out and pushing ourselves and I'm glad I stopped on that run because I just thought this is just going to be silly like I was just trying to envision like with every step I was taking I was making it worse and I was like right I have the power to stop this I have the power to do something about it so we're booked in for the physio at 8 30 tomorrow morning we're gonna go there We'll see what she says. Hopefully it's nothing too bad. Hopefully it's just take a little bit of time off, ice, rest, recover, maybe come back next week. It's obviously frustrating because I'm trying to do like a week's worth of workouts, but I have to kind of get a grip and realize that like being injured is bigger than that. And also if I can gain anything from being injured, it can be at least to help some of you with your injuries. So that's just try it. how I'm trying to see the positive in this right now and hopefully yeah, they can just give me some nice stretches, tell me to ice it, tell me to rest it, and we'll be back ready and ready to go. It just doesn't help it feeling a little bit deflating, but it is all gonna be, <laughs> it's all gonna be fine. Hi guys, so I went to the physio this morning. I, last night, it, it's really annoying because I'm going on about my knee and now I'm having hip pain on my left hip and actually last night when i stopped running my knee pain goes it's not painful day to day i can kick my leg around it's absolutely fine however my hip last night was just constantly in pain and i woke up this morning even putting like a lot of pressure on my left leg i could really feel my hip and it just feels very like tender and sensitive i went to the physio luckily it's nothing bad i'm not in a bad place she was like the fact that you've come in so early on in having this injury or this pain is the best thing because if you can catch these things early they're so much easier to fix rather than letting the pain get chronic when i've gone in it was essentially what i thought it was with my knee my it band is really tight so it is runner's knee which is so 
common for runners so if you are experiencing any form of knee pain and the pain is like on the outside of my knee when i'm running it is more than likely your it band just being too tight so the fixes for that were she oh my god she went to town she literally had her elbow and her thumbs right in there and i'm not gonna lie like it was excruciating like i was dripping with sweat because she was going in so hard but i was like i would rather you just went in and relieve some of the tension and then after that she showed me some stretches to do which i'll show you guys in a second then when she had a look at my hip it's basically the same problem my hip has just got too tight and that is gonna be a result of not stretching out properly before and after my runs i think with me it's essentially after sometimes i get in from my runs and i'm sure a lot of us can relate to this i get in from my runs i just think done like I'm done, see ya, in the shower, off I go. And then I'll sit at my desk. And I've done that after doing like a 30 kilometer run before and like, it's not good. And these things do catch up on you. And I'm very much one of these people It's like, that would never happen to me. Like I'll never have injuries. They do, they do catch up with you. And I feel like this is just a big sign from the universe just basically being like, you have not been doing what you're supposed to be doing and your body is not happy with you. So I'll show you the two stretches she showed me. So going forward, annoyingly with the week's worth of workout, she has just told me to pull back on my exercise this week. So we've done two runs. I've done one gym workout. It is now Thursday. I'm going to take today, tomorrow and Saturday completely off working out, give my body a lot of time to rest. On Sunday, I have actually got my own run club event so on the day this comes out i would have hosted my run club of squares and to be honest being able to do that 5k and enjoy it is my huge priority at the moment so if that means taking three days rest that means taking three days rest as much as i would have loved to have bring you guys a week's worth of workouts i also don't want to be encouraging you guys to push through injuries and it would just be really irresponsible for me to do that and you know what i feel like i'm feeling actually in quite a positive headspace about this i think when you have to take time off and you do feel a little bit injured it can be so easy to be really frustrated and really annoyed and there's a lot of guilt that comes with taking rest days but you know what i'm just thinking is actually i'm so grateful that this has happened two weeks into the year as opposed to two weeks out from a marathon and it's just a really big sign and a lesson going into the rest of the year that i do need to stretch and that i'm not immune from injuries and nobody truly is even if you think that you are but yeah let me show you these stretches so she's only shown me two because because she was like there's no point me giving you like 20 stretches and being like go home and do them because you're not going to do them so she's given me these two stretches she told me to do them around like three times a day if i just feel like i'm not really doing much and i could just stretch it out just stretch it out randomly and icing so stretch number one this is the it band stretch you're going to find a flat piece of wall the leg that's behind you is the leg that you are going to be stretching so that's going to cross behind and then my Left leg is going to come in front and I'm going to go down. You're not going to lean on the wall, but you're just going to go down and then twist to the opposite side. And you should really, really, really be able to feel that in your IT band. And then when you twist back up, you want to go back to the center and up slowly. And we're going to repeat that three times. I'm going to show you from the front on as well. So this is the leg we want to stretch. We're putting this one behind, this one in front. We're going down 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 as far as possible then we're just gonna rotate and stretch around to the left hand side i can really really feel that here now we're gonna go on to our hip stretches this one i feel like everybody probably should potentially know right so we're down on the floor bring your leg up and you're gonna cross your legs over like this sorry if you can see the bare bones on my horrible feet and we're gonna pull this leg and just don't strain your neck because i was doing it like this that's wrong. You need to relax your shoulders and your neck and just pull your leg towards you. Again, we're going to do this for nine. I can just tell that my legs are so tight because those <coughs> hurt so much more than they should do. But those are the exercises that I'm going to be doing religiously and hopefully we can just rest up for the rest of this week. And next week, the plan of action is I'm going to go back to the physio on Thursday and we're going to have a really light ease back into running. Like there was no point going and doing crazy distances or trying to do any speed at the moment. Like the aim of the game is to run without pain. So hopefully next week we can have a fresh start a less painful <laughs> running journey and get back on track with our 2024 goals at some point but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this week's video again i'm so sorry that it was such a short week's worth of workouts but i will see you next week for another video on sunday